I'm Trisha Karp from Powerful Speaking for Powerful Women. I want to talk about something today that I get very, very, very fired up about, and it's this. You need to be connected with what you are saying. We need to be connected with what we're saying. We need to embody our words and the way we say them so that they truly connect. And I don't know, this one might sound sort of obvious in some ways, but it's not what I, it's often not what I see. When I have been running powerful speaking workshops in the past, I've encouraged women to create talks based on the message that they're here to share with the world, to discover that message and to find the stories that support that message. And then in the workshop, stand up in front of the rest of the group and deliver that talk. And those talks have always been deeply personal and people talking about things that are really meaningful for them. And it made these women far better speakers when they had to stand up and give a talk or presentation at work, even when they were talking about things that weren't so important to them. And the reason I have approached it that way, and I continue to approach it that way with my clients, is because until you are deeply connected with something that matters to you and speak from that place, you can't really come alive in your speaking. You can't really speak in that connected way until you know that place within yourself. And so often what I see is people standing up and speaking in ways where they don't even care about what they're saying. And that is really, really obvious. It doesn't mean anything to them. They're not connected with it. And guess what? When you're sitting in an audience and someone speaks that way, you don't care either. Why would you? You walk out and go whatever and don't even remember what that person said. And that is such a shame. And that is not what speaking powerfully is about, right? It is about connection. It is about connecting with your audiences so that you can touch their hearts, move them, change their minds, influence them in ways where they're feeling something. And then they feel a connection with you and they want what you have to offer. Now, if you're thinking, I give boring talks at work, I have to talk about things that aren't really deeply meaningful to me. I get that. I also want to encourage you to find some meaning in it and ask you this question. If you're talking about stuff all the time that you don't care about, is this the right job for you? I'll just throw that in there. (laughs) What's most important that I really want to get across is how connected are you with what you're saying? What does it mean to you? And are you feeling that connection when you speak? Because you need to be. You need to embody that message. You need to embody the content of what you're talking about. You need to be connected with it. And you would know this from being in audiences yourself. You know who the speakers are who are really connected with what they're saying because you feel the connection with them. It's the same when anybody performs, actually, whether it's talking or or singing. There's a big difference between the people who are really present and feeling what they're saying, feeling what they're singing. It connects with you. And that's what I want to encourage for you. The next time you're speaking, embody what you're saying. Find the meaning and speak from there. And just notice the difference it makes in how you connect with your audience. I'm here to help you. You're welcome to find out more at trishacarp.com. Thanks for watching.